In this video, we would implement an algorithm for following the line that's called a proportional algorithm. It uses the color sensor, and in this video, we will use one of the color sensors, and it's a very smooth algorithm for following lines. It works like this. Finds the line and follows it. Let's see how we can implement this program. The basic idea of a proportional algorithm is that you move the different motors with different speeds depending on how far away the sensor is from the line. For example, in this program we would use the sensor located on port number 1. So we have the sensor on port number 1 and if we have our line right here, we know that if our robot is away from the line, like in this situation, we are following this line, if it is away, then motor A, this here is motor A, it must move faster than motor D, this here is motor D. And if the sensor is near the line, then motor A moves slower and it's a different proportion and this algorithm follows the edge between the line and the field and you move the different motors with different speeds depending on how how near the sensor is to the edge and when the sensor is on the edge you actually move both motors with the same speed and that's the basic idea for a proportion so if you are too far away from the line you need to return to the line very fast and if you are very near to the line you need to just move the robot slightly and then continue forward the program looks like this we need to control two of the motors and we need to control motor sorry I have to select this we need to control motor D and we need to move it forward and we need to control motor A. So these are the two motors that we want to control. And we have one sensor and this sensor is located on port, it's a color sensor and this color sensor is, is located on port 1. And we want to measure, we want to measure the reflected light, not the color, but the reflected light because this is a proportional algorithm. Now, how do we control these motors? Again, this is just on. We use the block for detecting uh, the reflected light and then we must calculate. We must calculate what should the power of motor A be and what should the power of motor D be. And uh, uh, how do we do this? Uh, first, we have motor D and in our robot, if you imagine it, in our robot, motor D is the left robot, the left motor. So if we have our our robot, and this here is the front of the robot, we have the sensor here, and we have one of the motors here, and we have the other motor here. And as the robot moves forward, we have uh, the following numbers this is the sensor on port 1 and this is motor a and this is motor d and this here is the line that we are following so we are following the edge of this line this here is the line it's so black and we are following the edge of this line motor a motor d so motor a is our right motor and the motor D is our left motor and that's important. So we have the right motor and the left motor. How does the proportional algorithm works? Now we detect, we detect with the color sensor and we do this in a loop. In a loop, we detect with the color sensor and we take the value of the color sensor. Now this is a uh, a more advanced program and it will include some variables and uh, some threads but stay with me uh, we detect the 
the value and then we do a calculation of this value and the calculation is the following if we place our robot over the black line so now it is over the black line wait a moment okay and currently this is uh, the value detected by our robot can i zoom yes we are over black and the sensor detects 16 so 16 percent now if we move the robot over the table which is in our case something like white we detect a value of let's see this value it's 68 so 16 to 68 black is 16 and white is 68 the value between 68 and 60 it's around 40 and uh, we can use this as a threshold value so we detect the value of the sensor and we subtract we subtract we subtract 40 that's the middle and if we have 70 here and 40 here so we have white and 40 here then the result from this operation will be 30 and we also do the same operation but in reverse order so we take the value of the sensor and we subtract this value from 40 so it's 40 minus this value and uh, this is very crucial to understanding this algorithm uh, when we have the sensor detecting white we have one of the values large and the other value small so if the sensor detects 70 something white we have this block returning 30 and this block returning minus 30 and if we are in the middle between the white and the black that means on the edge of the line then both of these blocks will return zero and this is how the proportion works as as we are far away from the line this block will return a large number and this block will return a small number and it's here again subtract so we subtract from the detected value 40 and the, the detected value from 40 and then we do the following thing we add this these values to variables and i'll call this variable let's add a variable and we'll call it motor motor right so that's the power of the right motor and we want to write a numeric value and this numeric value will be the result of this block and we need one more variable that's called motor left and the result of this block we'll write this result in the variable and then what we'll do is pass these variables to the motors and we have two motors the first one is motor d and we are starting it on and we set the power of motor d to be equal to the power of the left motor because in our case motor d is our left motor we read a numeric value and we pass this numeric value to the to the block and we also do the same thing with the other motor first let's connect this and then we add the same block to the other motor we read the value for motor right and we pass this value to the block and it's motor a on and again we connect this 
me just move it okay and now we have a multi-threaded program this multi-threaded program that I'll zoom out works in the following way we have two separate threads for we want to read here we want to read we have two separate threads the first thread is controlling motor D and the second thread is controlling motor A these two threads they happen in, uh, in parallel at the same time simultaneously and we have a third thread that's actually detecting the value of the sensor and these two threads they work independently and simultaneously the first thread uh, calculates the, the precise value and the second and the third thread they set the value to be used to by the motors and that's our program let's download and run our program this here is the program that we have just implemented working the robot finds the black line moves 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 it does not follow the black line and that's a problem that we'll solve in the next video